Carly Simon has another new project in the works, a Christmas collaboration with record producer Don Woz. My Christmas album I did just about a month ago, and I went out to Los Angeles with my son Ben because he was doing his first concert out there, and he asked me to sing backups on it with him. And so I said I would love to, and I got on a plane against my better judgment and... Afterward, I didn't want to go back to New York by myself. And I called up Don on that Monday, and I said, Don, I want to stay here. I've always wanted to do a Christmas album. Please do it with me here. I don't want to go back to New York. And he said, yes. And so we did it in my hotel room. We had Jim Keltner set up his drums in the corner of this tiny hotel room. It wasn't even a suite. We did all the standards, the you know, the great carols, and we did a song that Livingston Taylor wrote that's beautiful called Christmas is Almost Here. And we did a reggae version of God Rest You Merry Gentlemen. I did I'll Be Home for Christmas. I wrote a new verse for that. And we did ten songs in five days. And perhaps now that she has not one but two albums due for release, she will return to the charts once more. You never can tell what's going to happen. And even though time passes and, and I am more of a heritage or a legendary artist than I am a current and sync Britney Spears kind of artist, you know, you just never know what's going to happen. As, as long as I keep making music and continue to communicate how much I love it, it's not going to die. This exclusive interview with Carly Simon was recorded at her idyllic home on Martha's Vineyard in New England. Martha's Vineyard is home and I suspect will always be home for me for as long as there is a breath left in me because I came here every summer of my life as a child with my aunt and my uncle or my parents. It is where I feel urgently and passionately drawn toward. She's been variously described as the leading confessional singer-songwriter, a role model for women young and old, a woman of the future and the perfect yuppie star. But how would Carly Simon like to be regarded? Carly Simon is a walking set of contradictions. She is a, uh, a passionate, happy person that can't help from crying and, you know, somebody that reaches out to other people that wants to combine with other people, that wants to give love and get love, wants to decorate, <laughs> wants to plump pillows, wants to cook, wants to change the world wants to make music, make music, and hopefully have my music heard.